We had a snapshot last year, towards the end of the year, did we not? You know, with those guys not playing. So in hindsight, I think that's been really good for us as a club um, and probably uh, refreshing and exciting for our supporters because they, they got a glimpse without Goodwin, Edwards, McLeod, Burton. Uh, our playing group had to, uh, to take the field and I, you know, we played some of our best football last year towards the end without those, without those guys. So uh, we'll miss their experience, no doubt about it. Okay, you don't replace well, close to 1,300 games, I think, you know, overnight. Um, but that's, that's what we've got. We've, we've sort of planned for that for, for two or three years. So it's more about this is what we've got, highly competitive. Let's get back and make up the ground that we lost last year. Uh, but guys who have been in the club for one or two years now have, uh, have really you know, done well in pre-season. You know? So the next step, of course, though, is, is, is NAB Cup. So, uh, so you're not competing against yourself. Um, so we're looking forward to that. We had an internal trial last week. That was a bit of a step up in itself. Uh, NAB Cup will be another step up again. And then you know, the first game out here against Hawthorne will be a special game. You know, every every uh, first round in every season is exciting for everyone, but this one will be extra exciting for us. Um, the challenge is, is to better prepare a side so it can still play highly competitive winning football. I mean, we can, we can put healthy players out on the field by, uh, by not exposing them to workloads and fatigue and that sort of thing. And it'll look good on paper. So uh, our next little test for us will be NAB Cup and, and the season proper, just to see. At the moment, we've got availability. And now the test is, uh, are they in good enough shape to play the way that we want to play? Do you feel that Richard Hamley's in your best 22? Not at the moment. No, he's not. So is that for where he's become or on his pre-season performances so far? Oh, I know he came to us injured, which we knew about. So he had to get, we had to get his knee fixed. Um, so that's, we understand that. That wasn't new to us. And he's uh, only just, probably the last fortnight, Andrew, I'd say, we've been able to expose him to some of the workloads I think he needs to be exposed to. And he's been able to handle those really well. Uh, his, his performance in our internal trial last, uh, last week, last Friday, I thought was very good. Um, I've read a variety of reports. I thought it was better than probably people gave him credit for. Um, but that's, he's, he, he understands he needs to force his way into, into our side. His, the advantage he's got is that he's a 24-year-old, he's, he's got some good AFL experience. Uh, I think he's a very talented player. He needs to find consistency in our system. That will be Richard's biggest challenge. Um, he can play in the midfield, he can play across half forward, and play high up the ground, he can play half back as well. So he's got some, that's, that's an advantage for Richard, he's got some flexibility. Uh, it'll be about us not trying to do too much with him and just allow him to play his role. Don't expect too much from him. Like he's come out of an environment where there's been huge expectation of what Richard Tamling should look like because of a, a number against his draft, okay? Versus, you know, uh, what he's been able to do. So that's all I'm, I'm more concerned about that. There are some players that have requested to just play in one. Um, there's, there's had some players just before I came in, two came into my room and have requested if possible to play in both. Um, so, and there's been a couple of requests to, to play in a certain game. You know? Which one? Don't read it, don't, don't, be careful what you read into that. It's been a really interesting exercise, that, um, based on certain opponents that they could play against. Okay, so that's been, I think that's been a really healthy sign that players are actually thinking about uh, where they can get tested best. So I think what you'll find, for example, um, for example, Nathan Van Berlo will play in both games. Okay? And there's a possibility that Graham Johncock will play in both games. Uh, uh, Taylor Walker will play in both games. Patrick Dangerfield will play in both games. Um, Mick Dowdy will just play in one. So uh, I, I think you'll, you'll see pretty much a blend, Katrina. Two things, it's about, uh, um, our, I would think our performances in the last couple of years have been substandard early in the NAB Cup. So we don't want to, we don't want to re reproduce that. Um, and what I mean substandard, I thought our game knowledge has been poor going into it. We've made a bigger effort to make sure that um, more players have a, an understanding of structures and, and what the positions they should stand in, hold under different circumstances. Um, last, this time last year, 
you know, we walk away from the, our first round against, uh, against Port, we can't assess anything because our, our competitive juices, if you like, were very poor. And so we don't want to waste time. I mean, so it's, I'm not necessarily interested in the scoreboard, but I'm interested is to make sure that, you know, each round we can make good decisions of where we're going. You only get that if guys uh, play with a fierce competitive attitude.